My name is Bobby. Uh, I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of my home. Our mine and my wife's Fleetwood home. Um, this video is mainly to uh, let you be aware before you buy. Um, we actually feel like we bought a lemon home from Fleetwood. Uh, the manufacturing plant was from Waco, Texas. Uh, they are not in, in any way reasonable with you. They try to make up excuses. Uh, we've had a lot of things happen to our uh, mobile home, and uh, or manufactured home, I should say, I'm sorry. Um, we This is our first home. We got married last year, 2014. Um, this is our first home that we've actually bought. We used to rent before this. Um, we bought our home from Star Mobile Homes of Texarkana, Texas. Uh, we will not go back. Um, thank you very much, Ray and uh, Michelle. Uh, we will not go back to you guys. You guys um, really disappointed us towards the end after buying the home. Um, we've had issues, ladies and gentlemen, we've had issues with Star Homes and we've had issues with um, Fleetwood. In Waco, Texas. Our uh, warranty as far as everything goes on the home, uh, the appliances are separate from the home as far as warranty. They will send you a lot of junk mail and to try to get you to warranty the appliances. Do not. We decided we would are going to go to Lowe's to get our appliances when we do decide to upgrade. Um, for the time being though, I'm going to show you all. This is uh, a year after uh, the house has been set down. Um, we have gone through several uh, emails back and forth that I do keep on file. If you do emails back and forth or text messages with anybody Fleetwood related through corporation, keep your documents. Uh, we've had to get the State Department of Housing Affairs involved in this home because it was just so bad that they, Fleetwood themselves, um, were trying to make excuses as to why the home is like that or that's just normal. It is not normal, I'm going to tell you. It is not normal. I'm not a housing ex expert, but when you pay for a house, you should not have any type of damage or warp flooring um, that it should get fixed. I mean, you have to stand up for your quality. You guys, Fleetwood, you guys have commercials for how, like, the qualities of your homes and how you back up the quality of your homes, but you didn't back up this one. So this is why this is on YouTube, because you guys are an embarrassment. Like, we should have went with Clayton Homes. We would have gotten a better deal out of this. Um, so I'm going to get the camera, and I'm going to walk you all through everything real quick. I'm not going to make it a long video, but I'm going to show you all what kind of stuff we went through and kind of give you all a little explanation while I'm going. Okay, this is the far back bedroom. Um, as you can see, we still have some stuff from last year. We didn't unpack it. Uh, just trying to find the spots to put it in. Um, everything was all right with this room, just not as much like we've had uh markings on the wall or in the end on the ceiling that they did not want to fix um said it was just you know something that we would have to do okay so repairmen left their dirty hand marks on our wall as they were trying to i guess fix stuff in here we have several stains and rub marks of stuff on the walls in here that we are not very pleased with especially in that corner right there above the door um We've had, we still have uh, the problem with our decking. Our decking seams are popped up in certain areas and it is throughout the entire house. You cannot walk on one piece of this flooring that feels straight. They are warped. Uh, they go up and down. They pop. They creak. Um, they said it was settlement, but this is stuff that we've had in the beginning. And they would just kind of hurry up and check off the list. And then we went through three sets of contractors because each one of them would not do their job properly. Uh, they they do stuff like that. They leave you know holes and stuff, marks. Uh, we've actually had the carpet peeling up around this area here. That's my Yorkie mix dog. Thank you very much, Lily. Yes, you are now part of the crew. Um, we've had areas here where the carpet would pop up. Um, we still do. So whoever cut the carpet and put it down didn't do it right. But I guess the Fleetwood standards is that's part of the home. And as you can see here... It's not fully sitting down. I don't want to pull it back up because then the cat's going to get in there. Um, okay, so this is the far back bedroom. 
and then we're gonna go through the rest of them. Okay, this is the middle bed uh, bathroom. Uh, as you guessed, as you heard when I walked, you can hear the flooring. Yeah, not anymore. I'll show you all in the, in the master bathroom. Uh, this cabinet here, the countertop was shifted all the way over when the house was moved. Um, you could see there was like 20 screws all down the line. Um, they left a huge mess up underneath the sink, the last contractors that were here. Uh, they didn't do such a great caulking job around the sink area, which they were instructed by the state inspector that they were supposed to do that, and they never did. Um, our walls and stuff had, uh, these trim pieces had sheetrock exposed on the bottom. Uh, they tried to do something to the wall and cracked the, the cover here and left it there. Um, brought it to Fleetwood's attention several times and they wouldn't do nothing about it. So after we got the state inspector involved, it was demanded that it should have been fixed. Um, let's see, uh, the showering. Uh, the showering's not that great. It's flimsy. Uh, it's cheap. It's it's not very sturdy. Um, we told them about this coming apart here. Uh, it, all it is is adhesive on the other side. All they could have done was just put another strip of adhesive properly on it. But instead, they go ahead and they start riveting the bottom of it. So now it's all unproportioned. And the rivets are filthy from their hands. And you can't even get it out now. So now that it looks like crap. So, all right, on to the next room. Okay, so this is the baby's room. Well, soon to be baby's room. For now, it's the wife's uh, crafts and hobbies. So, um, we had some problems with this one. The door wouldn't close. As you can see, the marks on the door from the repairman and whoever else was uh, forcing the door open and close. Uh, all they seemed to do was to take a hammer to this here and call it good which that's really stupid. Um, I don't know what else they were doing in here, but they did some work to where you can now, you can see like things like this. Um, like they must have marked something up with their tools. As you can see, there's like a bite mark here. And um, you can see how like that, this right here just bows out real bad. Uh, they did something in here and they also like, they tore the wallpaper off of the sheetrock and just left it there. Yeah. Uh, we also had problems here in this corner here of this door. Um, as you can still see, there's like little pieces of hardened paint in the carpet. And they try to say it was sheetrock. Um, that's not sheetrock. It would it doesn't embed itself like that. But you can also see here, uh, they just pushed and pushed and pushed and tried to push that back in as far as they could and then just stapled the crap out of it. Um, only to just, I guess, hide stuff. And once again, more of this, whatever this is down here, not too impressed. All right, on to the next room. Ah, the family entertainment room. As you can see, that is our entertainment stand. Stands about, uh, let's say six feet tall. So it's about eight foot there and then another foot up top. So it's about, a, it, they're nine foot bolted um, ceilings. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show y'all the greatest part of it all. The front door. This is how our front door looks. And I'm going to stand back here from the hallway and show y'all. That door looks awesome in Fleetwood's perspective. Doesn't look like it's hanging off the wall anyhow. It's some, you know, it just looks like it's on the wall. Like it's supposed to be. So. Um, they've also cut the gaskets. As you can see here, there's gouges. <laughs> um, they've also cut the gasket up there uh, from the door, I guess, when they were messing with it. They've also stripped out my screws in the door and put different screws in there. Um, as you can see, that screw's not even all the way in there. Uh, that one, let's see if I can focus on it. There it is, right there. Okay. Um, once again, you can see all the nice stripped out screws. Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell you, those screws, um, they don't even stay in the door hinges. They actually just spin. So we have to look at replacing this entire door frame pretty shortly. Um, there's some nice, beautiful marks from the last contractor that was there. Um, and there's my dog again. Okay. Now here comes the fun part. 
these floors are not sturdy. I do not believe what they tell you. Our TV entertainment stand used to be on this side of the wall here. Uh, I sent them an email uh, a little ways back uh, letting them know that when you step on this front area of this, this love seat here, the whole entire TV stand rocks back and forth. I mean, it, and it's bad. It's actually knocked off stuff. Oh, and I'm going to let you all know a little something. This was our uh, wedding cake topper that went to our wedding cake that the previous repair guy that was here knocked off our TV stand. See, it sits on the TV stand just like that. And we come home, found this sitting way up on top of here in the far back. Found one head over here. Found a flower uh, somewhere back here whenever the TV stand was against this wall. And then the other head was underneath the couch when it used to be on this side. So that just tells you how honest they are when they break something. Um, but these floors here, the decking, every square inch of this floor here, you can feel decking seams. Um, and it is, it's terrible. Like you cannot walk without feeling like you're, you're walking in a kid's treehouse. I mean, this is how bad it is. Okay, on to the next room. Okay, now we are in the kitchen area, and real quick before I describe the kitchen area, um, I'm going to let you all know this is a Nest thermostat that I purchased last year. Greatest investment ever. Um, it, we Our energy bill is just it's super awesome. Humidity level is great. You can control it from your phone. Uh, if you have Wi-Fi, you can control it from your cell phone even away from the home and set it to have an auto timer to go on and off whenever you want to make your schedule. And it also has a motion detector in it to know when you're home. So that way, if it tries to go on the away mode, it will sense that you're home and it'll stay at the regulated temperature. Uh, we also have problems with our air unit. Um, we found out that um, we had electrical problems with the wiring. They ran it underneath the AC unit. And every time the AC unit kicked on, it would rub the wires. Well, it rubbed the wires so bad that it shorted out our thermostat. Thank you, Fleetwood, for not replacing that like you said you would. Um, but yes, we uh, came home and our home was actually 90 degrees and you know how hot it gets in Texas. And we have our dog and our cat that are home here while we're at work and we come home to that, you know, and we try to stress to them like, you guys could have killed our animals and they didn't care. They obviously have no heart. So, okay. Um, here's the kitchen area. Okay. Um, if I could show you on stand back and show you how slanted our refrigerator is. Um, it's hard to see, but if I'm standing here, oh, look, a dog. Um, it's not level at all. Um, they've actually had to cut out this section of the floor here. The State Department ordered them to cut out that section of the floor there because it was so far warped, it was like, uh, boom, like that. Like that whole center was right where my foot is. Like it sunk real bad. Um, Countertops do not line up with the walls. Uh, if you can see, there's a really huge high rise in that part right there. Our countertops are not level. Uh, we've tried to tell them. They don't care. They don't want to do it. The workmen's are, the work guys are really lazy. Uh, this island here was so far shifted uh, downward that they've had to pull the tiling and everything back up and try to level it back up. Uh, we've stressed that three months in a row, trying to tell them that they did not fix that. Um, they finally came and fixed it. The dishwasher, I've actually had to trim the back of it myself because uh, it did not stay flush with the cabinetry. They just shoved it in there and left it in there. Um, but I do, I leave it open like this whenever it's done on its cycle to let it air dry. Uh, we've had water leaks underneath the sink from fittings not being tightened down all the way. Um, when they pulled the tiles out behind here for the little splashback that they did they did not re them back they just kind of glued them back up there with liquid nail um this area of the floor here we've actually had a hole in our flooring here that the manufacturers just threw uh the material over top of um and uh then when we told them about it they went ahead and cut that section out there uh pulled that trimming out there which they did a really crappy job doing it because the trimming looks like crap um they peeled it back they shoved putty over it they let it dry. They didn't sand it down smooth, so now you can feel the putty sinking down into the floor. I told Fleetwood about it. They don't care. I asked them, what's up with the warranty of the flooring? They never got back to me. I've hassled and hassled and hassled. They said, that's just 
you know, what to expect. Um, they've also had to cut out this section of the floor here from sinking. Um, several emails I've tried to tell them, and I've even put my level on it. It's still bad. Uh, it, they actually pushed the problem up here uh, when they cut the flooring out because they only just did a, a section of it. Um, and then the same thing over here. We have a huge high rise right here uh, from where they just did a, like a temporary fix. Uh, I'm going to tell you all, to be honest with you, the contractor that was here told us that this house should have never left the plant. When somebody tells you that, that's actually pretty scary. But pretty much what they did was is they threw, I guess it was just whatever decking that they had. And they didn't even go and sand it through like they were supposed to. They just threw the material on top of it. That's pretty crappy. Um, we could have hired a lawyer and got involved. Like when we called Fleetwood Homes, or not Fleetwood Homes, when we called Star Mobile Homes and we told them, look, our floor has gotten worse. You know, what are we going to do? Our door is, is getting real worse to where we can't lock it. All that the, the guy, uh, the manager there, Ray, told us to do, get a lawyer. That's the best they can do. So we've gotten treated like crap from the retailer. We got treated like crap from the manufacturer. Um, the only person that actually uh, came through for us for a couple of things was Keith, the uh, state inspector of, of the housing affairs. Um, he did a pretty good job trying to get everything done for us. He can only do what uh, he was allowed to do. Um, here, you'll hear a nice part of the flooring here popping up and down. Uh, it gets worse over time. There's actually a few areas that pop, but it's it's great because every spot that you shuffle your feet on, you can feel decking popped up just everywhere. It's, it's terrible. We thought about hiring a contractor to come in here and tear the floors up and redo them. But I'm so scared that to find out that maybe something's wrong with the actual beams of the home that we're just not going to be able to get it fixed properly. And it's going to have us so far in debt that it's going to, we should have just went and got another house, which we plan on doing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just introduce you all to, not the dog, but the utility room. Uh, you can see the area rug right there. You see where that decking is popped up? You can see it right on top of that throw rug. Um... This is our front loader washer. This thing is, uh, it actually stood up to the home pretty good for a while. And now it's gotten to the point where the house shakes violently when this starts going. And this is brand new. There's nothing wrong with the barrel or the cycle. It's just, it's just how crappy the home is. Um, our back door, we've actually had problems right here with light showing through it severely. Uh, we've had water running down through the back door whenever we had rain. Uh, it damaged this right here uh soaked it up with water soaked that side up with water um they came in and did some stuff um state inspector saw the huge gap that the that the previous repair people had left right here um we still have problems closing it but they said it's settlement issues i think it's bs um you know you can still see things like this i mean it's 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 terrible that you get treated like that after spending so much money with them just to get a mobile home because in or a manufactured home because here in Texas, um, you know, you can still have settlement ha uh, issues with concrete foundation homes, but you know, it, okay, this is the master bedroom. As you can see, we still, the wife has laundry to do. Um, I'm going to try to step over here and you might be able to hear it creak. You know, it does it whenever. It wants to. There you go. Okay. Um, we told them about that whenever they were supposed to come fix the creaks in the floor. They did only one side of the flooring. Um, they didn't fix the bedroom. They just left it. So. Um, oh, and as you can see too, you can see the lovely job that um, Mark, the first set of guys, I guess that was his first name, Mark from um fleetwood one of the contractors did to our flooring right there beautiful job man thumbs up thank you um this area here too has terrible areas of decking popped up i mean everywhere you walk it's just it feels like you're you're just walking on a um you know just a a kid's playhouse flooring made out of skids um not really too much to say as far as the walls uh, and the trimming. They did fix some stuff. They did leave some stains on the wall uh, from their dirty hands. But, you know, what can you do? You can only get but so much 
out of them. Um, and <laughs> that's pretty much it. We still do have actually a couple staples too that are up underneath the insulation from the flooring. Um, I would uh, not advise to pull the flooring up yourself, but have a have somebody do it and fix that. Um, on to the last room. Ah, this is the master bathroom, where most of your business is done here and here. Um, uh, let's see. We've had a crack in the tub. Something punctured it from underneath. We've had the water lines leaking underneath because um, we actually had no hot water. And it was funny uh, that we had cold water but no hot water. And I looked underneath and the lines were pinched. It was uh, kinked like that. Uh, I don't know how. Manufacturer left it like that. Um, whoever was in line to do the uh, fixtures. But the hot water was on the cold side and the, the cold water was on the hot side. So I ended up having to fix that. Um, we've had things where, uh, they actually went and fixed the caulking in here. Uh, several shout outs to let them know that they've had a slice in the flooring that was exposed and we use a steamer on our floors to get most of the dirt out. Um, and we didn't want anything happening to the flooring, but I mean, the flooring's already damaged as it is. So why should, why did I even bother? Well, I'm not going to add on top to make it any worse than what it was. Uh, we did get a stress crack from the moving in our vanity. They didn't do nothing about that. Um, the flooring, oh, the flooring is beautiful. I'm telling you what, you can see right in this area here, you can see that just sunk down. I mean, if you can't see that, I don't know how else to get a better picture of it. But um, it is just amazing. You can see, let me point my finger right in this area down here. There is a huge hump. And then it goes, and then it comes back up. And the way I can also tell that is if you look at the trimming along the side of the tub, it goes down and then comes right back up with the wall. So if we actually decided to try to take that tub out and do some actual tile work in there, uh-oh, I see some hairy feet. Um, if we actually tried to do some tile work in here, we, I, we would actually have no choice but to pull the flooring up and redo this because it would not line up straight across. Um, let me see if I can show you all because you can see it pretty good with sun reflection in the daytime, but I try not to turn on as many lights, but you can see right there it is. Yeah, beautiful. Right here. You can see that jump that it, it, bo it bends down the uh, linoleum. Um, they said that's normal. That, uh, it's a trailer home. That's what you get. And every time you walk across the two, it pops. Um, we've had issues with the shower liner. The shower liner wasn't cut properly. They came in and just threw caulking on it. Well, when you throw caulking on something that has a, a slick coating, it doesn't really stick. So every once in a while, we get a little pieces and chunks that come out whenever we scrub the, the sides of the, uh, the liner. Um, and lovely job with your uh, five-foot-tall uh, shower handle. Um, really, it's supposed to be down lower. Um, there's our shower head and they really didn't do such a great job lining that up so you can see how far away it is. So my deal there, the hang's supposed to hang from the shower neck, uh, hangs on the other side that I had to make myself with uh, the 3M uh, pull sticks, the little strips. Uh, we've actually had water leaking in from down this area here, pouring in down on the corner of the floor. Uh, they shoved clear silicone in there which is uh, I guess the best I can get. Um, we've had damage from the manufacturing. We'll zoom in on that. Uh, all they did was try to peel that up and uh, push it back and try to see, and it's all scratched there, so we have to deal with that now. Um, they try to go with a nice theme for the home with the two-toned walls and stuff, but they, you know, they, you can't hide damage. You can't distract somebody with a nice two-tone espresso colored walls with damage you know you just you can't do that um okay one last thing before i let y'all go um you can comment or ask questions uh, i can do my best to try to respond i'm like i said i'm not an expert on homes but i know that this home should have came out a lot better than this um uh, one other thing when our contractor was here he um was moving our refrigerator when he had to cut the floors out and we actually have a nice little seam right here 
he damaged the, the flooring. And, uh, you know, we paid for this flooring as part of the being inside the home. So now we've actually paid for crappy molding or crappy uh, flooring material. Uh, let me see if I can find it. But when he was, he did something. There we go. You can see right here, it's all bubbled up. Well, the wheel from the refrigerator was over here sitting in there for too long, and he tried to fix that, and he melted the flooring. So, uh, so much for our warranty on the actual material of the floor. So, um, gosh, I got a lot of ums going along here. I'm just so frustrated. Before you buy a home, please do your reviews on it. Definitely get something in writing from the salesman to say, look, you know, uh, we will do what we can to make you happy and uh, keep you as a future customer always something in writing. It's very upsetting. Um, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's just really think about it before you buy one, especially from Fleetwood. Um, I've heard horror stories from Fleetwood. I've heard things like they went out of, you know, they were fixing to go out of business, but their RV lineup had saved them and all this other stuff. And I kind of believe it. And I, and I see why. Um, I will never go back to a Fleetwood. I'm going to tell you that. I will never go back. It's just one of those things where they try to butter things up for you and, you know, they try to get you to buy stuff. And when you get involved, when something goes wrong, they're not there for you anymore. Um, but I've made several attempts to try to talk to them about the flooring. Uh, they don't, they, they just don't want to hear it no more. Um, so this is my review of Fleetwood and, uh, this, this is what I think of it. This is, it's crap. Um, yeah. And also here too, you can see how lovely their wall lines up with the floor. I don't know if you can really see that, but you can see how far it still drops down. Um, we thought about getting somebody in here to tear up this floor to uh, find out what they're hiding. Uh, why that one contractor told us this, this house should have never left the plant. Um, it just makes us wonder what's going on. Like, is there something missing? Did they, did the guys just half-ass the job? Um, why is this home here if there's something really, really wrong with it? We weren't here when he pulled the floor up. We were actually at work, unfortunately. Um, but I think I should have been here to see what was going on. I think something's definitely wrong with the way this house was built. They don't want to confess up to it. I'm calling it a lemon home. I know that they say there's no such thing as lemon homes. And there is about lemon cars. But this is a lemon home because we are having nothing but problems constantly. Um, it's, to me... I don't, I don't want to live in this home no more, but we have to for another five years. And then we're going to get rid of it and get us a, an actual American built home, a solid built home. Um, and that's all it's to it. Fleetwood can take it for what it's worth and shove it up their ass. So, all right, guys, uh, I'm going to go. I've talked enough here. If anybody else has had any bad experiences with Fleetwood, Hey guys, feel free, throw your link in there, uh, you know, share your experience, anything, keep it going. This is going up on YouTube and, uh, Fleetwood's definitely going to be knowing, uh, that they, they screwed with the wrong people. They really did. And I hope this embarrasses them. And I, I hope hundreds of more people that have gotten, you know, um, beat up by Fleetwood need, you know, y'all need to say something because I mean, this is terrible. All right, guys. Take care. And uh, Lily said, bye. Say bye, Lily.